from quite a young age, my dad was always getting me to point out cars. Like whenever we would go on a family trip or something, I always had to point out every car we went past and what brand it was. My granddad, um, particularly into cars, um, even in his late 80s, he was uh, taking part in rallies and things. So that sort of got me involved a lot in what I do because now I, now I, I like the, the adventures, the road trips, that kind of angle on things. And a lot of that comes from him. My videos, one of the most important things is to keep them quick and easy. You know, I want to be shooting stuff and quite often having it online, or well, sometimes within half an hour. You know, it's all, it's about having a very smooth process. So my very first video was back in 2010. I walked past um, an event going on for Top Gear where they had a Ferrari 458 Italia and a Lamborghini Murcielago SV. Both cars that back then had been shown at motor shows, but certainly not on the road. And they just had them parked there. And I had just bought a new video camera, so I thought, you know, why not point a video at them, shot a video, quick edit, uploaded it. And that was, I mean, before that, my YouTube channel had just been like things with my friends or family, you know, not cars at all. And um, it just sort of went from there, you know, it was just for fun posting videos. For the first year or two, I never appeared on camera or spoke on camera or anything like that. Um, it's all been a sort of evolutionary process, I guess. I started a vlog channel after a couple of years. I built up maybe 5,000 subscribers and was having a lot of fun posting videos of everything that I could. But I wanted to talk about some stuff, um, you know, people on the internet do. So I started a Mr. Shmi 150 channel, started talking. Um, I think my early videos are actually quite embarrassing because I look completely nervous and don't have a clue what's going on. Uh, but they, they sort of grew a little bit and eventually I started bringing them into the main channel. Uh, and now it's sort of become the way I do things, talking about you know, what, I'm, what I'm filming, what's going on, giving a little introduction. I don't like to talk too much because my content is about the cars or the event or whatever's going on. A little bit of talking just to clarify, you know, say what's up. Well, I've always been quite fond of the McLaren brand. So I've been quite close to the brand, watched them grow, watched the car sort of evolve. I've liked it from the word go, but obviously it's a £200,000 car. I couldn't afford, afford, even dream of affording that a couple of years ago. My car is slightly customised, not too much. The most uh, visual thing is the colour, which is a 3M wrap vinyl, which uh, is done in shmi blue for me. Um, it's got a couple of options from McLaren, of course. Lots of carbon bits, carbon engine bay. I love that. People keep saying, like, will I fit an aftermarket system? But there's really no point. The car makes so much noise as it is. Living with the 12C, it's very practical. As you've probably seen, you can just about squeeze a person in the bonnet. You've got a bit of space behind you. It's one of the reasons I opted for the coupe rather than the spider. It's because I've got so many trips coming up this year, I needed the space inside for luggage and so on. It's very easy to drive, you know, you've got good visibility, it's very smooth. The suspension is absolutely phenomenal. The car's quite new to me, so it hasn't been to many places yet. I took it down last week to Goodwood to go around the motor circuit, uh, but it's what's coming up that's going to be fun. We've got the next month, leaving in a couple of days for a massive tour around Europe. Taking it down the Autobahn, see if it can do 200 miles an hour, if it's safe to do so, of course. And then we've got Gumball 3000, so it might be, uh, we'll see what happens. That starts in America, so that's quite complicated this year, but you never know. Being a petrol head is really quite exciting. You go to events, you've just got tons to talk about. Everyone's talking the same language, you know, especially in the supercar world, there's always the debates like, would you have a 12C or a 458? Or, you know, just what's your favorite car or anything. There's always stuff to talk about. You get involved in, you know, and I'm finding that there's so many people who watch the videos, talk to them, talk about, you know, what's going on. And there's so, there's just an endless topics of discussion. So it's quite hard to say what's the coolest thing that Shmi 150 has enabled me to do. I uh, joined the Bugatti convoy in the UAE, so we had five Veyrons at 300 kilometers an hour down this road somewhere in the middle of the, the desert with the police pardon to go as fast as we wanted. Uh, I've been around Yas Marina in the P1, that was absolutely mind-blowing. When the P1 pulls out of the start line, I was doing a test drive with Tim Mullen, McLaren GT3 driver. Launch control, full on absolute kick in the back you're at 60 100 almost like 150 just pulling out of the start line 
you're halfway around the track and your mind and your body and everything is still back at the start line. You don't even know where you've got to yet. I mean, I've been in some fast cars in the last year, but P1 was something else. Loads of people say they want to give this YouTube side of things a go and they come and ask questions and stuff like that. And as far as I'm concerned, the more content that's out there, the better. Why not? Why don't they have a go? Why don't they post something? Who knows? You could be the next PewDiePie or Ray William Johnson. It's down to you to have a go.